In this tutorial, I'll show you how to model and render a piano. Let's create the keyboard mesh by using a cube with the array modifier. S to scale. S and X or S and Y or S and Z to scale in the X or Y or Z axis. Shift D to duplicate. Control A to reset all transforms. In edit mode, Control B with the mouse wheel up to bevel like this. G and Y to move on the Y axis. Let's apply the materials before applying the array modifier. Control J to join the meshes. In edit mode, hover the mouse pointer over the meshes that need to be removed, and type L to link select. Let's work on the main body mesh with a cube.
e to extrude. Let's add a cube. We need to bevel the top front side of the edge like this.
Let's extrude and mirror the mesh. We'll need to use the clipping option on the mirror modifier. Let's select the faces like this, and press Shift, D, to duplicate. Then we can use, P, to separate by selection. Time to remove the mirror modifier, and solidify the mesh. We'll need to move the origin to the back side, in order to rotate the cover mesh properly. I'll show you how it gets done. Once the back face is selected, shift S to move the 3D cursor there. After that, move the mesh's origin to the 3D cursor.
Let's apply the materials and set up the render scene. Select the main node, and press Ctrl plus Shift plus T to add the PBR texture images. To use the Ctrl plus Shift plus T feature, we need to activate an add-on called the Node Wrangler. I'll add the ground plane. Please watch a tutorial listed in the description to match my final render settings, as I'm using a cloned look dev HDRI setting. I'll use the sky texture.
Let's turn off. Use nodes under compositing. I'll also use 32 samples to render. Looks like the keyboard mesh needs shrink on the X axis. This is the end of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.